Hi, I'm Meb from Papershift and today I will show you how you can plan your care staff uh, within the mobile care industry. Um, for that, we'll jump straight into the account. As we can see here, I have already uh, created two working areas, the care assistant and care worker. I uh, have uh, allocated these qualifications to each of the staff members. So we, when we are looking for a replacement, we know who we can uh, allocate to which patient. Um, I've also added here with the tags, I've added our patients and the postcodes. And we've got our members of staff here and I have also already allocated them into uh, each of the shifts that they're supposed to be doing, allocated them a patient as well. So for example here, John is a care assistant and he is taking care of patient one on a regular basis um, and that patient one is located in B24. And there is a special note as well um, to bear in mind that John is bedridden. So for any member of staff that will uh, take over this appointment with the patient one, um, that member of staff will be aware that this person is bedridden and that special care is uh, needed. So now what will happen if one of the members of staff are sick? Because at the moment, everyone's got their regular appointments. So for that, we'll jump into our uh, absences and I have also, um, I've already allocated um, an absence here, which is for Sophia, because she's going to be sick on the 21st of January. We'll click on it because it's unconfirmed at the moment, so we can open the window. And we can see here that um, there's one shift that will be affected um, off her day off. What we'll do is, she's going to be sick, maybe she's got a doctor's appointment. Um, what can we do? We're going to have to confirm it. And now we'll have a look what happens in the rotor because everyone's got their set patients. And as you can see here now, that Sophia has been taken out of that shift on Tuesday. We've got a red one here to show that there is someone absent and the shift here is red again, which means that we, uh, we have no one going to patient number four. Uh, what we'll do is, in order to um, have a look if there anyone else available who can take over this appointment, we'll click into the shift and we can see here uh, our available members of staff which is Stephen. Stephen is a care worker. Stephen has got the qualifications. So what we'll do is we'll allocate him to that shift. We'll click on done and notify so he gets an email about it. Um, and then when Stephen logs in, um, he can also see this special note for patient number four. He's got a war trauma. Uh, so if he rings the bell, um, that patient might get insecure. Um, so that way, um, with all these important notes, uh, the members of staff will be able to know what will happen. That's it from me, um, showing you how to do the rotor for a mobile care. Um, if you want to plan your own, uh, do get back in touch with us. I would love to hear from you and model your account to your expectations. Um, yeah, get in touch. Thanks. Bye.